and feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or The Whale? Apparently the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters, afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. But honestly, it's quite the power move. Wonder what Militech will respond with. Maybe Myers will fly a rust bucket B-17 flying fortress over Arasaka HQ. Ooh, man, that's, that is insensitive. I am so sorry, where are my manners? President Myers, I mean, of course. <laughs> Gotta respect the office. Anywho. Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, oh my god, my voice, it's bad tonight. Um, so we are going to see the doctor, and we have some stuff to take. We are going to take everything they'll give us. Um, there's plenty that you can pick up throughout the game, so we should never really run low on anything in particular. While we're out here. We don't really have a reason to do that, but... You Hey, V. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Okay. So, let's go see if we can have this conversation. All right, enough. You got another dry, sun-filled week coming Uh... Wow, that guy just combined two tablets into one. That's pretty impressive, I would think. Uh, so you'll see this happen throughout the game as we play. I forgot how ugly my V character had become with the shit I threw on her. Um, so one of the things about uh, this game is that as you do certain things in the world, you'll start to get perk points. Those are separate from your level points. So here, we are looking at our cold-blooded tree. Well, actually, sorry, we're looking at our ninjutsu tree. We're going to hold off a second before we throw anything in there, but we are going to get cold-blooded. So I, I'm going to keep calling it cold-blooded. You can uh, deal with it, I guess. But it's a pretty good perk. This is the one that we were talking about a lot pre-start of the LP, where we are looking at a seven second increase of movement and there's a couple of other things as we go on that we'll gain some access to the ultimate being down here at this merciless uh so this is how most of these trees work once you get enough levels we're talking 20 levels in cold blood uh but once we get 20 levels in cold blood increases crit chance by five percent increases crit damage by 25 percent and as perk levels go up that percentage goes up. So if at level 20, it would be uh, a 60% damage increase um, over the 25. It's so basically, ba it, it's going to kill. It is going to kill everything it touches. It's going to be great. I love it. When I was confronted with the perk system that people wanted me to go with and the options that everyone gave me, this was something I kind of thought about a little bit. How do I build this character? And the answer is to just jam every point of cold blood I can in there for a little while. Um, it's not necessarily a great idea because, yeah, we're gonna grab this and that. Um, because I'm going to eventually want a couple of other things. So while it's viable, while we're early in the game, before a lot of these things are really necessary, yeah, I will be jamming some points into Cold Blood, and that will give me a pretty good system to work from. And this is neat. I love this. Like, what this little mega block looks like. There's some stuff happening here. We're uh, gonna go see the Ripper Dock, but we're gonna get there eventually. There's some stuff happening. You can wander around. You can see there's a gun store here. And Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? 
just gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so how about it? All right, so this is one of the side quests. Uh, let's ask. Get him, Fred. Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in. Fed him, clothed him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal. And a tumor mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. So this is going to introduce us to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. And it's something I do want to actually go over a little bit. So we're going to take Let's a shot here. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. So. Yikes. This fighting is not my specialty. Um, there is an entire sub theme in this game of fist fighting. Uh, that's what we're actually unlocking here. You can see that uh, you've got a stamina bar in the upper left corner there. And you've got these movements. You can dodge left and right and back. Uh, and you just gotta let your stamina go back up. And I could have sworn there was like a parry system in this game. Uh, but this is kind of your basic fist fighting stuff. There's going to be guys who block, like me. And then you can do a heavier light attack. So that's what I'm doing here, is just some light attacks, heavy attacks. I always worry about this ring, but then I forget that like there is no actual way to get ringed out in this. This is taking a little while because I don't have any real points in fist fighting right now, and I don't have a ton of stamina. Alright, good. I'm gonna let him get his time back in. You got one go. Never thought of monetizing it. I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. Alright, so. Let's take a look here at our options. We have already a legendary knife that's available to us, which is going to do the same amount of damage as our sword. Now, uh, the upside of that is that you can actually throw knives when you get there. Uh, the katana he has on sale is a little bit better than ours, but we're never going to be able to afford it. We only have $1,000 right now. I would tell you that... For the character we're building, having a baseball bat is actually a pretty great option. Uh, but we'll get to that later. Let's talk about You mentioned this. something about fighting? Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't lethal, but very lucrative. Lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. And when you take home the pot, manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance no to fight in the grand finale. Sorry, I, I, that all clear? I, I, Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. Start in Kaboom. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Okay. So, yep. Let's uh take a look here. So our text message feed. Um, we can open messages, so we'll do that. We'll take a look at Fred's. The Kabuki one is the one that, if you've watched a lot of the previews of the game as it was getting ready to launch, you know exactly what that is. That's the, that's the one that's very different. But it's good. It's a good fight. We might go do that probably next episode, just to get a little cash at the start. Um, 
you'll get calls from your fixers in these text messages. Um, these text messages can be very verbose, um, but basically Regina is just introducing herself because she is our local fixer, and she is somebody that we will be talking to quite frequently as the game goes on because she handles the cyber psycho sightings, and those are interesting. Well, this looks bad. How'd this go? Uh, huh. All right. So, one other thing that we're going to do while we're here, we don't necessarily need to, but there is a firing range right in here. Turns after every shot now. Let's have a look. So, we do have a couple of pistols that we can pick up. The uh, unity that he has for us, that is $5,000, is a bit much. But if you look closely, I'm not going to spoil it too much, but this one here, this uh, green item that has the little yellow uh, uh, exclamation point, that is a quest item. And these things are stupid. I hate this game so much about these quest items because they don't pop to the top. They show up in the list. So when you need to go pick up, say, a specific mod or something like that, You've got to dig for it, but it's a little worse than what our current weapon is. However, as an uncomic, oh, wow, sorry, that was a little louder than expected. As an iconic or uncommon weapon, it means that we're going to be able to upgrade this thing as time goes on. Uh, it's a power weapon, just like the Unity we have now, which means we have some ricochet going. Uh, it doesn't have as much in terms of the electrical damage, which is always nice to have, but the headshot multiplier is really good. So we're going to take this, and, I mean, why not? It's a free gun. Thanks a lot. So, yep, just received it. So, let's take a quick second here to incorporate that to our list. We don't have any scopes or muzzles. Muzzles are going to become important to us as time goes on. Uh, what do we got? Okay, five, five. Let's put our... Jack. I guess I didn't equip stuff. Yeah. Fashion. <laughs> Oof, our fashion is not great right now. However, um, so muzzles in this game are an interesting kind of mix of things. You do have your muzzles that will increase certain aspects, but most of what you're going to find throughout the game are silencers. And silencers are basically only used to increase stealth damage. They knock down your overall damage that you're able to deal with the gun by like up to 25%, but at the same time, they increase your stealth damage by a... No, 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 no. Jesus Christ. Okay. We're all right. Just picking up some ice items here. Anything else down here? No. Uh, Alright. Good. So, yeah. Early in the game, I do want to pick up what I can and do things like this where I'm just getting some points. That is going to be very useful to us as just a normal feature of the game. Uh, we're, we're very limited in what we can pull off right now. Um, and... Did, did, uh, just let me straight through here. Thanks, everybody. Uh, we're limited in what we can pull off right now, and so we're going to be jumping and running and doing all sorts of fun stuff uh, just to find stuff. Let me make sure that I don't have anything I'm missing. Uh, yeah, we're good. Pouring in from shitholes you never even heard of. Cool. All right, I was just trying to trigger one other event that you can start early in the game but uh, it looks like I didn't find it. So uh, I think I may have distracted the cops away from giving me the event, that's fine. Uh, we'll be back here a couple more times. You don't necessarily have to go back to V's apartment at any given time in this, like there's a couple of story beats that send you back here, uh, but you can get different apartments and you can go different places. So it's not a huge deal. But we're gonna go down and see Jackie. Festival is nearly upon us. Tomorrow, 
mark the event, the streets of Night City will come hey, alive with exquisite multi-story Dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by BWAR virtuosos and theatrical performances in the no tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. Enjoy yourselves, Night City. After the break, side side. Uh, okay. What happened? So, let's. Ooh, what do we got here? Ashtray? Sure. So one of the next things that we're going to pick up when we have the perk points for it is... Are we going to talk about yesterday? It's all in the report. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to delta the fuck out of there. Yeah, no biggie. Not like that cyber psycho was a tank on two crone legs. What the fuck were you thinking? There's a reason Max Tag exists, you know. Civilians were in danger. What was I supposed to do? Just watch them get mowed down? Listen, you, me, and every fucking cop in this city might as well be a civilian next to Max Tag. The day they give us the gear they're packing, go right ahead. Be the hero. Save the fucking day. But until then, you keep your head down and listen to me. That understood? There are a lot of these little conversations throughout the game, and a lot of them are worth just, you know, just taking your time, listening to them. Uh, sometimes not so much. Uh, this is just a run about Trauma Team. It's, yep. Trauma Team policies have a 91% survival rate. That's great. Good for them. We saved somebody for that earlier. So, yeah, there is... As you've noticed, a lot of people that are just around. One of the issues the game had right upon release is that you'd have, like, repeat humans <laughs> walking around. You could see, like, three or four people who were dressed and had the exact same character model uh, just walking next to each other. They've really fixed that since then. Alright, we're getting some notes about the world. Not too worried about those right now. There's Jackie. Let's go talk to Jack. Mm. Woman of the hour. Jeez. They took you long enough. Whipped up an appetite just waiting. Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. I mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens. I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. Dexter Deshaun. What's the latest spec on him? No, you got info to spare. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. Hell was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. The important thing is he's back. He's a fresh crew, and he found us. How did you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You me? Oh, but T-Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but hope deals riding on you now, chica. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. I'm glad you Look, V, it's his job, his rules. 
I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. That won't happen to us, though. Gracias, Dios. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our, uh, dust off with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. All right, let's grab our car. Top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. And here it is. So, in this game, you can call your car of choice at the touch of a button. Uh, the way that... First stop. Ripper Duck. Panchica. Easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. We are not going to be playing in the first person Most while driving that car. Anyhow, I got a date. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Uh, so yeah, just a quick ride down here. I don't love the driving in this game, to be completely honest with you. Um, it can sometimes be a little finicky, and in the first person, you miss a lot of stuff. So... Let's, uh, go quick. Pop back over here. I saw something on the ground. Oh, and some condoms. Well, need both of them. Alright. So, oh, yeah. Uh, so cars don't really go anywhere when you move them. So, we'll just park in the spot. The game will stop us immediately. And yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. And who is this? Why, it's a Netrunner from the NCPD. We do not want to fuck with a Netrunner. He is resistant to things that are... He's got, like, I mean, just, oof. He's weak to fire, to poison, and to electricity. That's great, but you're not going to hack that guy. So, we're not going to try. You are not the masters of your memories, for your eyes do not belong to you, or rather, not only to you. Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around us, even within us. Your joys, your worries, your life, for them it is all mere spectacle. Let's just say you're right. So what? Should I just gouge out my optics? Ah, thanks, but no thanks. You are beyond salvation, but not the children of the future. Life untainted by surgery of the sacrilege. We can yet save them. May the mothers shield their bodies. May the fathers instill their hatred for Crow. But who are those who follow our every step, you ask? Why, the titans of entertainment in Alpha Centauri! In their wretchedness, they placate their weary and oppressed masses oh by putting our laughter, our tears, oh on full Look display! Get next to him. I'll snap a still of you arresting him for revealing government secrets. Open your mind before it is too late! Jessica will, like, die when she sees this. Like, this is Max Nova. I just can't. Gary's having a hard day. Well, I think we could fight this guy, but let's not say we did. And let's just move on and meet Misty, the Lady Cleo of uh, Night City. Miss hey, Cleo. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. You look pleased. Cause I am, always. Makes for easier living, but we got a new job lined up. 
from a big hitter at the afterlife. Oh, is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry, mi amor. We're bulletproof. Grab this, uh, yeah. so. I say I've got my head in the clouds. Earth to be. No, I'm stealing everything in this place and everything up here. I got time to do things, Misty. This is one of those things that I found my first playthrough, and I, it was how I knew I actually would like this game, is that even when I'm on a fucking railroaded path to go see Victor. I can still go and find some stuff. And that's that's nice. Uh, one of the criticisms that the game's storyline got is that it very much just kind of forces you on a path. And it is true. That's, that's not inaccurate about how this game works. Uh, but being able to come up here and get some rare components first thing and uh, do a little exploring get some stuff and you know wander around is actually really good it's, it's just nice design um, I'm doing this just for fun there's nothing up here as far as I recall uh, but yeah the the first time I played this this was like a nice little find like oh okay and then if you look down here this is I could jump if I had the health to survive it I would jump that's all open. The, despite the fact that we had that kind of momentary uh, hop down, uh, that's all stuff I can touch. Oh, and hey, while I'm here, may as well, right? So yeah, it's just a a fun little uh, ten second trip, let's say, to go see some stuff. And those components. You need a few of them to do basically anything. Uh, we'll talk about it as I get more crafting options as the game goes on, and that'll take a little bit because we will have to dump some points into other systems. Uh, but those crafting components and the quick hack components are very, very helpful. I think uh, now that I've got a point in cold blood, that the next uh, couple of perk points are going to be uh, forcing some other... Uh, items to or other things into the, the system here this guy's just got a tough book out here that's fun and there's our car fuck it i'm here i i'm just gonna like i said i'm quick hacking stuff because i can not because i need to at this moment. good um, oh yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, once we start getting a few more options in terms of uh, traversal, uh, you'll see me do a couple more dumb shit things uh, as the game goes on. A cat's nicer than mine. All right, <laughs> let's go see Victor. Okay, so Ripper Docks, there's a few of them throughout Night City. Victor is kind of your standard. Everyone sells different things in terms of blueprints and upgrades. Uh, right now, we're going through just the standard kind of let's learn how Ripper Docks work thing. So let's go meet Victor. Spry as ever, you old Ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig, had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. Gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. 
Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. I do worry about the person who has 21,000 eddies uh, by the time they get here. I mean, he's about to give me a free upgrade, essentially, for now, at least. Uh, why would I not rob him fucking blind, first thing? You know, just as a sign of how much I care about him, obviously. Uh, it, take Boxers Monthly there. We're eventually gonna read some of these. Let's, let's sit down. Oh my god, my fashion choice is haunting me. Haunting me so bad. I should be at a Limp Bizkit concert. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. Groshi, whoa! Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... Might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. Groshi, what? Nope. I forgot I that it was going to start me there. Uh, work. I do love being able to skip some of those conversations. It's a great feature. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Okay, so Cyberware. We're going to have some fun with Cyberware, I think, over the course of this LP. Uh, Cyberware is kind of like your uh, mods and upgrades and things like that that you'd normally see in an RPG. It's going to give us some different abilities, it's going to give us some different options, and it's going to mesh with our upgrades. So we're going to kind of focus a lot on some body and stealth options when we get in here. Right now, though, we only have these two options because the game only wants me to deal with these two options. So let's take a look. Obviously, we're going to take these because they're free, which is the right price. Uh, and we're going to step back. Now, while we're here, I just like to look at this. That's, I mean, I could get that. You can see, so... There's different um, specs here, right? There's the all items, the vendor items, and then your items, things I have. I don't have anything. I haven't found anything yet. We'll find some stuff throughout the game. It's going to be great. Uh, Vic has... Oof. So I'm not going to slide as much, but... It's a good option. This is the Matrix... Uh, <laughs> It's kind of the matrix build, and it's 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 not a bad idea for uh, what we're building. Uh, for plating, we are going to be getting into plating pretty quickly, and we're going to be getting some armor upgrades because I think that's really where we need to be. Uh, in terms of what we're looking for for our uh, tech deck, as it were, uh, whatever this the cyber deck is. We want to get to this 8 base RAM, 7 buffer size, 5 slot motherfucker. This is going to be great. We are going to want to be able to reboot optics. We're going to want to be able to system reset people. As a character that is going to be relying on cool, we are going to want to get there fast. This thing is expensive, and it's going to hurt. You can see $16,000. We're going to owe Vic 21k when we walk out of this. So uh, that's a little off in the future. However, right now, these hands is free. Um, we're going to stick with these for a little while. They're pretty good. They're kind of basic, but they're going to get us through our problems. When we get to arms, we're going to talk about this. Gorilla arms are straight on. Let me punch you to death. They're great. 
Mantis blades, these things are knives inside your arm. We're gonna want those eventually that will allow us to not carry uh, a, uh, a sword. The mono wire is really where I wanna be though. Mono wire is uh, just a brutal weapon. It'll take off arms and legs. It's perfect for what we want to do. I don't, I've never really used the projectile launch system because I don't like the smart link stuff. So if people think that this would be actually kind of fun, that might be something to look at in the future. But it means that I'd have to go and fuck up my, uh, my cybernetic eyes to put in a smart link and blah, blah, blah. Not loving it. Uh, we can also change out our hands for smart link stuff. And we'll talk about that later. Several videos from now, actually. Um, but overall, I, I just don't like smart tech in this game, or smart link, smart weapons, whatever they are. So we will hold off on that. Uh, but yeah, that's exactly what we came here to do. We got everything we we're looking for. Let's back out. Mark one, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Same as always. Don't feel a thing. He asks me that every time, you know. Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. All right. So scanning. You've seen me do it. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm. <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Thanks, Victor, and your lack of filter on that one weird sentence. I love when that happens in games. You hear that uh, in some of the Mass Effect trilogy as well, where you're just going to hear somebody who has a very specific filter to sound away on them and then it just breaks and <laughs> it's always fun um i don't think victor is as bad as some of those uh examples out there but it it, it was noticeable let's uh let's keep going here <laughs> it ought to work like a charm now draw your weapon you should see your ammo count in a brand new site How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? 
Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Didn't mean that. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Alright, well, that'll do it for our Ripper Doc adventure. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh, How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Think you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. Know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with his lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. Alright, well, we're done with Victor. Uh, and that will do it for this episode. Next time, we're going to go back up to Missy's shop, talk to Jackie, and get started. Um, I don't want to keep these going too long in the early days, and it's very easy to do that. So, I apologize if this is uh, a less action-packed episode maybe than last time uh but that's just the nature of the beast so next time we will go upstairs talk to jackie and get working on our systems here get talking to dexter get ourselves in some trouble and and have a good time so i'll see you then thanks everyone bye